Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of The Gollies. Today we are in my kitchen and we are going to cook two dishes and bake some cookies. Well actually three dishes I like. Three dishes and some cookies. So come along with me. Now I have my station set up. I have my husband's my cameraman. Hey boo. Hey baby. Love you. Thank you. So we're doing double duty here. We have two pounds of ground beef um, in each of these. Uh, this one I have one egg, um, onion, I have an egg and onion, I have parsley, pepper flakes, red chili, um, and in this one I have the same thing, but I also have some garlic down here, um, and this is going to be for the kofta, okay? So I did this overnight so I could just do it in the morning. What I'm going to do now is mix this both with my hands. Let me take off my ring. Both with my hands, clean hands. So with clean hands, we've already washed them. I'm going to mix both of these and get it started. So here we go. This is the costa, first of all. And basically, you're just wanting to incorporate everything. And Oh, it smells delicious already. And it's not even cooked. Okay, because it has the same ingredients, I'm just going to go ahead and mix the other one in here. Now, we're doing kofta and we're doing hamburger. Hamburger patties. Cool. Okay. So, we're just mixing that. That's fully incorporated now. It takes only a few minutes. Mm, that smells delicious. Oh, gosh. Okay, that one's done. Now, on to this one. Same thing. Oops, making a mess. It's okay, I'll clean this one is for hamburger patties that I'm going to pre-cook and then when I get ready to make them, um, I just take them out of the refrigerator or the freezer and um, fry them up, put some cheese on it and we'll be done. So this is like a little bit of little things that I do to kind of make my life a little easier because we're so busy all the time. Um, we really don't have a lot of spare time. And if we do have spare time, I'm not trying to stay up in the kitchen all day long. So, let's just make sure that that has broken up and everything in it. Perfect. Okay. All right. Let me wash my hands now. Okay, guys, I just washed my hands with hot water and soap, dried them off. What we're going to do is go ahead and turn this pan on to high, get it heated. Um, I saved my little bacon grease here. Throw some of that in there. Okay, we're going to do the kofta first. That, oops, wrong pan. Wrong pan, wrong oil. Excuse me. Okay, I just put a little bit of vegetable oil in there. Now, with the kofta, all you're going to do is get this hot enough. And then, you're going to create, with one hand, form little fingers. You see that? I also added some cinnamon. Oh, and I am preheating my oven. Um... To make cookies. Let me see if that's done. Let me check. Okay, guys. So we did our last bit of meat. You see here that we have all of our little meat here. And I made them into fingers. Now, kofta is one of those um, meats that you can form into meatballs if you want. Into patties. Um, anything. You can fry them. Put them on a grill. Uh, traditionally, they're done on a grill, but um, it's cold outside. It's changing, and as you know, my husband and I haven't been feeling well, so we are going to use the pan. So I'm just going to put them in like a little army. Thick. She's thick. And we're just going to fry them up. 
put them kind of tight because you can do more. Okay, and this is a Arabic dish, babe. Um, do you know like when it was started, when it was originated? No. Nothing like that. You just know that y'all. You just know that y'all um, eat it in Egypt, right? Yeah. Okay. It's not just Egypt. All the, in lots of Arab. Uh, a it's lot in, of Arab it's, countries. Yeah, it's now in, in like kind of like an international meal. Yeah. Kofta is like is everywhere. Now, now kofta is known more throughout the state. Um, because there's a lot of foreigners, so, like, we, <laughs> okay, so, with hot water and soap, while that's cooking, I'm going to do this. Now, all I did here, um, this is going to be our, um, peanut butter cookies. I'm going to do a cup of peanut butter. And my dog came because she loves peanut butter. I'll let you have this one when I'm done, Mama. Okay. All I did to kind of get the, the peanut butter out of this is spray it off with a little bit of coconut oil. And it comes out easier. Okay. Now, after we put the, the peanut butter in there, we're also going to put some stevia. This is just from H-E-B brand. We're also going to put a cup. Actually, a little less than a cup, okay? Put that in the water. One it egg. It should be just, it's a, lo it's a local, local uh, store. Grocery store. Yeah, and it's in, it's in the whole Texas. Like, it's, in, it's a Texas brand. Yeah. And then, because I love cinnamon, if it opens for me. There we go. Put some cinnamon. Oh, I could put some pumpkin spice. You want pumpkin spice or no? Oh, you don't like pumpkin spice. It's okay. You can try it. Sure. No, it's okay. You don't like it. Okay, now all we're going to do is mix, 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 y'all. All right, guys. We're almost there. Do you see that? How it became harder to stir? That's what you want. That's your cookie. And we are done. Okay. Now again, with clean hands, you don't need to oil it or anything. All you're going to do is form little balls and pop them down. You want them kind of like all the, the same size, y'all. If you can try. Okay, I'm gonna finish this and then I'll show you what's next. Okay, these are done. It's come out clean. That one goes in there. You're gonna take the same fork that we used and you're gonna make a little X. Just push it down. Okay, you're going to do it to all of them. It smushes it down pretty good. It doesn't need to be perfect. My baby girl's licking her lips. She loves peanut butter. But with hers, I don't put any sugar. Did that one a little too much. Okay. Okay, that's it. We're going to put it in the oven for about six to seven minutes. All right, let's check these. They smell delicious. Now, we're going to do several things, okay? We're going to try to do things all at once. These are going. We're going to put these in. Okay, now these are just um, hamburger patties. That I've made. That's fine. I'm gonna put those in so that they can start cooking. Okay. And all we're doing is forming patties. 
basically you just make a palm size and you just squish it and keep going like a tortilla basically until you get the shape you want okay now I'm gonna keep going and we're gonna flip these in a minute okay guys we have our hamburger patties going and our kofta going uh, let me check this yep perfect we're gonna turn this off. you see that I'm not afraid to get in there I don't care <laughs> my um, fingers are pretty much singed already with all the cooking that smells delicious huh mm-hmm Look how beautiful that looks. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Look at that there. Now in this other pan, what I have here, I have different stations, y'all, okay? So in here, I'm going to do molokhea. Basically, you're supposed to do it with beef. I don't have beef, so I'm using pork chops. So I'm going to put this on to start cooking. In here... We also have onions, garlic, we're going to need vinegar, cumin, comino, and this here. This is minced mulheya or julep plant. We get this from our local Arab store, um, and our Arab store is called Alibaba. You're also going to need a ladle and some water. So I put everything in one place so that I can find it. Of course... So Okay, now we're going to go ahead and just turn these. Because they're getting cooked. That's not good too. Yeah. Delicioso. Oops. Right. That one's mine. That one's mine. <laughs> okay, let me add a few more in here. Excuse me, babe. Push them together, y'all. I make them. I make them pretty thin, and I just put them in there and squish them together. There you go. Okay. Okay. So traditional molokhea is usually boiled beef, but because I like the flavor of um, the caramelized meat, I fry it first. I fry it first and then I add water so it can become soup. I'm just going to keep flipping, browning, making sure this is nice and beautiful. This is a Middle Eastern meal. It's also keto approved. Um, You little stinker. There we go. And I'm just going to add more because we have space now. We try not to make them touch. This we put on high, this we put on medium. Check this out. Ooh, those are almost done. Come look at They're almost done. And these are almost done as well. My pork chop is almost done. I'm going to add water to that. Just put in that water. Guys, I like to multi chop when I um, cook because it saves a lot of time. A lot of time. These are getting nice. Oh yeah, nice and caramelized. That's what I like to see. Mm -hmm. 
Ja, okay. These are almost done. Oopsie. Careful, guys. Back up. I don't want you to get hit in the face with oil. These are almost done as well. I just want to get them um, a little bit more caramelized. And we're gonna. Oh, you hear that? Mm -hmm. Um, this is about. It doesn't tell me how much it is. But it's a good amount. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not here. Mm. Okay, and I already have a, a container here for the um, beef um, patties. A container here for the kofta when they're finished. Just place them. I'm going to add to this some salt. My little spice jar. This is pink Himalayan salt. I reused my jars. And we're going to use that much. I am going to use pepper because I did not um, flavor this at all. Okay. We're going to keep rolling and you're going to see the outcome soon. What's next? Took out a few that are done. And I'm just going to keep adding and keep going. Yeah, that's not gonna work. What's delicious? What happened? Nothing, it looks delicious. Hey guys, the cookies are done. We're gonna take them out now. Okay, we're gonna take them out. Oh yeah. Look at that. Beauty. Let's keep them here for a little bit to cool down and then I'll put them on a plate and we'll be eating. Are you almost done with this uh, kofta? Yeah, the kofta is almost done. I'm just letting it brown up a bit. You see that? You see how it's browning here? That's what you want. You want it brown. See that? And actually, I can take these out now. So these are done. Done, done. You want them to be caramelized. See that? That's beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, let me take them out. Get on there. Hmm. Oh, see. They're alive. <laughs> They're alive. They're rolling. And guys, with this um, this soup that I have, the molokhea, I just added some onion, a half an onion. Um, I just covered it up. I'm not sure I could have just put that in there, but it's okay, whatever. And these, all I'm going to do is turn these. Yep. I'm going to just split off my... Don't worry about all that. That's all flavor. All right, y'all. We'll be done in a minute. I just took out the cookies and I put them in this Tupperware um, so that they could cool completely. Once they're cooled, I can either put them in our treats or just cover it and put it in the refrigerator. This is our um, hamburger patties and our kofta. Babe, you want to try the kofta? Sure. Mmm. Yeah. Delicious. What, did it need anything? Nope. 
That's right, well. Take a bite. Mm. Good job, yeah. Okay, guys, the two last things we're gonna do. Oops, I need oil. Mm. This is the soup mm -hmm. for the molochia. Molochia. Still boiling over there. Let me go ahead and put some of that in there. Second fry. So what are you making now? So right now I'm making tomato basil soup. It's getting colder out and this is like the perfect um, soup. Molchea and this. This molchea and the copa will be eaten together with um, a Jerusalem salad, which is basically um, tomato, cucumber. Excuse me, it's called Arabic salad. Okay, Arabic salad, excuse me. Yeah, we don't do... Uh, would, I, I'm from Egypt, so it's technically Egyptian salad. Yes. Well, because of what I put in it. It's yeah, it's called Egyptian salad. Okay. It's not Jerusalem salad. Anyway. <laughs> okay, so what I did here is I just chopped up some onions. Um, just hot, yeah. I'm going to fry these up. And yes, you always want to flavor your soup. So I have this. I am going to do my garlic. Me and basically all I do, I don't even chop pretty, because it's all going to get in there. I'm going to blend it, but I do want the flavor in it. Okay. So arrow, chop pretty. In there too. Okay, put that over there to wash. Okay, this is going to soften a bit. Once this softens, we are going to put our can of tomato sauce. Hit it with some basil, salt and pepper, some cayenne, and then once it's nice and hot, we're going to blend it in our Ninja Food Processor, and um, it's done, y'all. That's all there is to it. Okay. One here, let's check this soup out. I need some more salt to smell it. I need salt. We have a little spoon. Okay. Let me have a spoon. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Thank you. Let's get a little spoon. Again, let's taste it and tell me what it needs. What do you say? It's delicious. Good? Okay. Now what I do now? I add the mojia, right? Yes. But you need also to fry the... Yeah, that's what that pan is for. I'm going to fry yes. it. Okay. Okay, so this is done. Let me add the tomato. This is one whole can of 29 ounce, one pound, also from H-E-B. It's the Big Mama tomato. No, it's one ounce. Uh, it's one, one pound and 20 ounce. One pound, 13 ounce. One pound, 13 ounce. 822 grams, 29 ounces. Yep. That's what I said. Again, H-E-B, this is a local uh, market This in is Texas. here in Texas, yeah. Yeah. 
We're in, San, we're in San Antonio, Texas. So a lot of our stuff we get from Texas. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a huge uh, market in Texas. Okay, I'm just putting a little bit more tomato sauce and water. I just had a little bit. I just had a little bit of wa uh, tomato sauce left over from another um, another recipe I did. Okay, that's gonna cook down. This is okay. This is the time I put my spices in. I put maybe less than that. I don't put a lot of that. Oops. Put some more, Mama. No, no, no. no, no. Not spicy. It's gonna be too hot for me. Okay. And then this one, I don't even do that. I just do this, y'all. Because it's tomato basil. You put the basil. That's a huge amount. Of yeah, but it's a lot of soup. And we're gonna blend it. You put about two tablespoons. Even about three tablespoons. And that's going to be done. That's going to be perfect. We're just going to let this um, incorporate a little bit, infuse the ingredients, then zap it up in our Ninja food processor. And this soup is done. Okay, we're going to switch over and put it in the back. Okay, we're gonna let this heat up a bit. Put that on. I'm gonna put a lid on this. Okay, guys, this is the mojé. I'm just gonna pop it in now. I don't care if it's frozen, it's gonna defrost in there. I'm just basically cleaning out my bowl because there's extra mojé in there. Okay. And we're gonna let that do its thing again. And we'll be back. Okay, guys. So all I did was put the um, some of the tomato, about maybe four ladles, in my ninja, and just to be safe, I'm gonna cover it and puree. That's done. Now all I'm gonna do once it's done, pop it in my bowl. And keep doing that till it's all complete. Be right back. Okay, it is complete, y'all. So I'm just gonna clean that up. And all we're gonna do with this is put it in the refrigerator. Uh, when we're ready to eat it, we'll just reheat it and have, serve it with some sour cream, some cheese, um, maybe some keto croutons, keto chips. And that's a meal, y'all. Let's take a look at our molcheya. Now, a lot of people find molcheya to be on the slimy side. Um, but that's if you don't have enough water. Um, here we clearly have enough water. I still have a little chunk left that needs to dissolve. Um, but this is very healthy, very nutritious, um, very keto friendly. Basically, it's herbs and meat so that's going to keep going once that's done i'm going to go ahead and fry up that's going to take like maybe four more minutes i'm going to fry up cumin garlic um coriander no what is this yeah. coriander um onions and some oil i'm going to add a little bit of vinegar so that it won't get slimy like okra just a little bit We're here. Let's make sure that this is super hot. We need it hot, 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 hot. Quick check. Nope, not yet. Okay, guys, we're dropping now. Garlic, onions. Now, I made a mistake, y'all, because I didn't have enough onion. I meant garlic. I like garlic. Um, But this is supposed to be nothing but garlic. 
But since I didn't have enough, I put onions. So it'll be fine. No. Now we're adding, what is this called again? Coriander. Coriander, which is... Com no, not Camino. Um, Cusbara. Cusbara, yeah. And then... Cumin. Cumin. That's good. That's a lot. That is a lot. Take off some. I'm gonna... Uh, at first it didn't come out, now it came out too much. Is that good? No, not more. More? Mm-hmm. Then I'm having. Okay. Right. Oops, I put a little bit too much. So anyway, we're just going to fry this up. I took out some of the Camino that I dropped. At first it didn't come out, and then it came out a little too much. I need some more ghee, huh? Do I need some mm -hmm. more ghee? Mm hmm. Put some bacon. Put some bacon fat in you. Everything's better with bacon. Yep. There you go. Come on. Yeah, baby. Might as well. We're already um, using. Pork. <clears throat> How long does this go? Until it's uh, fried well. Okay. Keep mixing. Mm-hmm. Are we still recording? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Hey, yeah. Guys, I've made this several times, but... I don't remember. My brain is fried. I like this onion and garlic. Ha 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 ha. Okay, so the right ingredient doesn't have no onion, it's just garlic. Just garlic, yes. Yeah. My yes. bad. But you know, girl, improvise. Girl, make this her own. Oh man, that smells good. Mm -hmm. Oh, you can smell the, the spices coming out. Like they're blooming. Uh -huh. Food network. Food network. They're blooming the spices. Oh, I just took this off the fire. What we're going to do is just throw it in. Mm. Heat it up a little bit. Put this back on a little. Mm -hmm. You always clean your pan when you're cooking with this. But on, on a steaming mount. Yeah. And it's clean. <coughs> and that is done, y'all. That's just going to cook for like a couple more seconds to get it infused in this soup. Look at that, y'all. Don't tell me that's not good. Look at that. Ooh. This you serve over rice. You just eat it like that. It's going to be delicious because you have these soup and the bones in it. What is this again? Pork? Yeah, pork. Again, traditional, it's made with beef. Didn't have no beef. Next best thing, pork. Okay. And this is going to be shut off and we're done. Alright guys, so thanks for watching. Sorry this is a long video. I hope we could cut it down. Um, but don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this with anyone and everyone. Until next time, golly's out.